kids! Welcome to Teacher Beth Class TV! English Today, we're going to discuss about giving meaning of words using clues. In this lesson, you will be able to give the meaning of words using clues through pictures, signs, symbols, and body movements. Are you ready? Look at each set of photos. What do you think is the common word they would like to express? If your answer is chum, you got it! If your answer is swim, bravo! If your answer is agree, yes, or okay, approve. We can easily identify meaning of words through clues like pictures. Take a look at these pictures. The first picture means they are walking along the road and they can see tall trees and beautiful flowers. And the second picture, Teacher Beth made a beautiful cake. Signs and symbols, like the following examples. Through movements, like walk, cook, sing, pray, sleep, and dance. When we communicate with other people, at times to show what we would like to emphasize, we do some actions or movements to make meaning. Just like doing the thumbs up means yes or agree, or thumbs down means no or disagree. When we read the stories, Picture clues allow us to easily understand the plot or the events. Picture clues are pictures, illustrations, or objects that stand for what is written in the story. Just like the following stories. Once again, we can easily identify meaning of words through clues like pictures, signs, symbols, and movements. Let's try! Give the meaning of words through clues. To actively participate in this activity, you may write your answer in the comment section.
The picture means mother reads bedtime stories. The movement shows the girl is reading a book. The picture means the boy is hungry. The sign means one way. The body movement means the girl is happy. The picture means the children play at the park. The symbol means wet floor. The picture means she is watching a scary movie. The picture means the family is eating dinner. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.